Hey, good Monday afternoon. Hey, I want to, again, thank everybody who's been donating to me. You've been really helpful. If you want to donate, uh, the link should be pinned in the comments. Um, if you want to ask a question and have it featured on the video, then a minimum of $5. And if not, just sit back and enjoy. So let's get it. <laughs> So this is more or less become a meme that I think now people are starting to kind of pick up on and actually understand it, right? The whole, you know, transphobia is racist. And from the outset, the way it was always said has always been a, a thing to kind of attack, you would say, like the social justice groups that like there's this idea of, of non-synchronicity within institutions. And because of that, when you come in not understanding these topics... Someone who's saying that can seem nonsensical, right? So let's ask the question, is transphobia racist? Well, if we only assume that these are discrete topics that may have some overlap in that some people who are trans are also black, and outside of that, they are things that happen uh, differently, like they exist differently, they come differently, they, 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 they um, were brought up differently, and then they just sort of maybe sometimes collide, then you could have an argument about whether or not it is or isn't. But if we understand historical context, we can see where that this comes from. And the historical context is colonization. See, along with a lot of different systems that came in with colonization, uh, one of the biggest ones was this specific idea of the body. Um, the idea that like within the body, you can find some sort of moral... Um, or 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 personality trait that you can then kind of generalize to other groups, right? That, that's kind of where race science comes from. But this is also where bioessentialism comes from in gender. But here's where these two are, are connected. See, when European Christians came to different places in African countries and Asian countries uh, in North and South America, um, they would oftentimes find gender variant people. Um, you know, who in their minds, who they would consider sodomites and are today, we may have considered them trans or non-binary. But like, you know, they were definitely gender variant. It so seems. Uh, and the thing about it was that in efforts of colonization, one of the things that they sought to do was target these specific people and individuals for annihilation. And at the same time, ideologically uh, and institutionally create ways to destroy the, the 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 gender systems that essentially produced individuals like this within those communities for a way of better holding down and implying patriarchal norms on those communities and you know control them um and we can see what where the racism part comes in is in the fact that in justification for this this idea was that having these gender variant people having these you know we call trans or non-binary people within these societies was a was to them a form of savagery, right? Like the fact that gender norms were not, gender norms or the gender systems that they uh, had were not the ones shared by the different indigenous cultures uh, was the idea that they were not yet civilized. And the process of civilization, among other things, was the removal of these individuals. Um, and how we see this pull out today, I think very specifically, is how we view TERFs. Now, one thing about TERFs and general transphobes, but TERFs kind of made have almost like nailed this down to a T, is when they view trans women, and specifically they focus on trans women, but they do focus on trans men. But when it's the idea of clocking and the idea of targeting, and I think I want to understand this, the target is very important. When they go to target who and who isn't trans women, a lot of times they will use um, racist ideas, right? They will... They assume any like woman that's racialized has masculine features um, and thus, you know, is susceptible to being trans. And it's not just TERFs that do this. We see this all the time. Look at what happens with Michelle Obama and Serena Williams, just to name the two, um, or Megan Thee Stallion. Women who are racialized, especially black women, have always been seen as masculine or had masculine qualities. But where does that come from, right? Well, it comes from colonization. You know, part of the, uh, the, the humanizing way that in which... Uh, these systems were made was to create a gender system that defined what is human and what is non-human and applied obviously the human characteristics to the Europeans um, and by stripping away femininity and also 
targeting gender variant people, that was one of the ways they were able to do this. Uh, and then those things become tied. So we see this out today in how different transphobic ideas um, about the body also wrap up in white supremacist ideas of what gender should be, right? Who should look, what looks feminine and what looks masculine in the system is tied up in colonial ideas. So is transphobia racist? Well, it's more likely than you think.